a detour for international policy during China's two sessions. Foreign Minister Wang Yi addressed recent tension on the Korean Peninsula and in the South China Sea. CCTV's Tong Bo has the details. Now I'm ready to answer your China has never and will never make any new territorial claims. This is what Foreign Minister Wang Yi has said about China's diplomatic approach to South China Sea issues. The minister took questions on building facilities on some South China Sea islets and stressed that the move is covered by the right of self-preservation and self-defense provided by international law. China was not the first country to have deployed weapons in the Nansha Islands. We're not the country that has deployed the most weapons, and we're not the country that conducts the most frequent military activities. People talk a lot about militarization. I think China cannot be accused of militarization. This label is more suited to some other countries. Wang also says journalists from home and abroad will be invited to visit the islets once the construction of the facility is completed. Another focal point was detention on the Korean Peninsula. The world is wondering how relations between China and the DPRK will fare after China voted yes on a UN resolution on Pyongyang over its nuclear testing. If the country seeks development and security, we're prepared to help and provide support. But at the same time, we have an unwavering commitment to the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula, and we will not accommodate the DPRK's pursuit of nuclear and missile programs. Other highlights of the press conference covered Sino-U.S. and Sino-Japanese relations, China's overseas infrastructure construction, and the G20 summit China will host this September. The foreign minister's press conference has highlighted China's need for a stable international environment. Experts say that is because 2016 is the very first year in the final stage of building a moderately prosperous society. It's also the first year for the implementation of the 13th five-year plan. So a smooth diplomatic environment is crucial to reach these goals. Tambo, CCTV, Beijing.